can. Why? Literally. Ugh. Hi. <sighs> hey, I'm Maya and welcome to Behind the Music. So I'm basically here to over explain my new single and how, but uh, more like why I wrote it. Um, and you're gonna listen to me because you're watching this. Oh God, might as well get started then. So I wrote The Time I Left the Ways on the same day that I wrote Apricots, uh, about a year and a half ago now. I was with my producer who's like my best friend slash like cool uncle and uh, we just finished apricots and we kind of looked at each other and we were like yeah the vibe is right let's write another one so then i started thinking about this girl that i saw and like a totally sane person decided to write a song for her so what i did was i just started writing down this entire page of things that i could think about why i liked this girl and i realized it was because of this one day that we'd spent together in the park and I was like, that's it. I'm just gonna write down an entire big stream of consciousness diary entry about this one day that we spent together. And like, that's, that's it. That's kind of like how I realized that I liked her. So usually when I write a song, I just write an entire page full of crap and then kind of freestyle that on the mic. But I'll usually give one or two songs to uh, reference to like get the vibe right. And, ah, oh, here it is. The neighborhood is a staple, come on. And like, we all know I reference sweater weather. I mean, jokes aside, I literally did reference sweater weather. Uh, Caught games with a cup of coffee. Not clear, but I hope she loves me. Smart minds with a stupid proxy. Lines getting fuzzy. My hands in your green knit sweater. I sweep, but her lips were better. Cold skin with a burning temper, so we'll remember. Oh, she's the fire on the trees. Because that was a really sweet tone to the song, and that's kind of what it I. What did, what did, what, what I wanted to come through with this one. I just wanted to be like, hey, I really like you. <laughs> you see, writing's really nerve-wracking when you're being honest. Because you're being honest. It's kind of hard. It's literally like I've opened up all my memories. And you can look at whatever the hell you want. Like, all these pictures there for people to comment on. Having a song like this for everyone to hear rather than just her is kind of, it makes me feel a bit weird. But I'm also excited to have everybody else be able to put that into their own memories. I don't know, I'm getting, I'm getting too sentimental here. Anyway, we finished the song in like two hours. And I think my favorite line that I wrote in that song, honestly, is, uh, I can't remember it. <laughs> I literally can't remember it. What the hell is it? Not, Not clear, but I hope she loves me. Smart mind with a stupid proxy. Lines getting fuzzy. fuzzy. What I'm really saying there is like, I think this girl likes me back, and I'm usually smart enough to see the signs. If it was a guy, I'd be 100% sure, but because it's a girl, I can't tell if she's being friendly. Also, because our society has a stupid proxy of heteronormativity, so everyone's straight until proven gay. Anyway, back to the story. So, I took this demo straight to this girl, I went and sat in this coffee shop that I was talking about in the song, and uh, I sat straight across from her and handed her some earphones, and I was like, hey, I wrote this song about you. I swear I'm not crazy. Uh, listen to it. And I sat in front of her and watched her listen to the song, like a crazy person, and um, luckily for me, she felt the same way. And then, we started dating. She did slap me pretty god- I just spat on the camera. She did slap me pretty goddamn hard though. That sounds really weird without context. She hit me and she was like, you gotta stop spending money on me. <laughs> Cause I guess that's all I wanted to do. I just liked her and I wanted to buy her shit. You know, when you like someone. <laughs> oh god. But yeah, that's- that's why I wrote the song. Um, I know I don't really owe anyone an explanation for any of the art that I create. Unfortunately, me and this girl are not together anymore. We, we dated for a while, and uh, hi if you're watching this. 
I'm sorry that this is publicly out there. It makes me nervous. It's difficult, but it, it is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't. <laughs> the song, just like life, is a big ass waste of time, but it would be good if you enjoyed it. That's what I'm gonna leave you with. Oh my god, I. Well, I, yeah, I'm I'm Maya, and this was behind the music, and I hope you listen to this song. I'm gonna go waste my time doing something else. I could have ended it with, "Thanks for wasting your time watching this with me." Okay, bye.